What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Good Game Reviews. Here to do another draft review. And with this next pick in the uh, the third round, 91 overall, the Patriots select Devin Asiasi, tight end out of UCLA. Um, Devin Asiasi is 6'3". He weighs 257. Um... Some things on his draft profile, uh, most common things said about him was that uh, was that he had a balanced skill set. So if you look at highlights or a tape or whatever you want to look at, uh, you'll see that he is able to do uh, multiple things on the field. Um, he can block. He can block nicely, um, even though there are some um, analysts, well, at least scouts who said that he had to work on his blocking a little bit but for the most part most people uh you know they liked his blocking uh another skill he has is his run after the catch ability uh he has some decent speed um he's very athletic so you know once he gets once he has the ball in his hand once he has a lane he's he's pretty much gone for 30 yards if unless you're near him he he can he can take off for a touchdown now but yeah def, definitely is a nice runner with the uh, football um a con on him the most thing uh well the most thing that i heard was contested catch so not really able to use his body you know with with the body that he has not really able to use it to um Block out defenders all the time to go for those contested catches. So, I mean, that could be a problem. That could be a problem because there, there's going to be times where if you, if if you are going to be the number one tight end, if you are, there are going to be times where they're going to put, you know, two guys on you, and there's going and there's going to be a guy who's going to be draped on you, and you're going to have to go for those catches. You got to be able to make those catches. So, hopefully, that's something that he can clean up. But that'll be that'll be very um, concern concerning if that's you know tends to be a problem going into you know his uh, career with the Patriots. Um, as far as his uh, stats in 2019, he pretty much exploded um, uh, with the UCLA offense. Uh, 44 receptions and 641 receiving yards he also averaged 14.6 uh, yards after catch and he had four tds total uh in his career he had six tds but this year he had four and he had a long reception of 53 um basically you see the difference um from you know those past two years um UCLA actually wasn't even his first school. So to see, you know, just the jump in productivity, I mean, it's, it's that's a positive that you can look at. Um, as far as his combine numbers, he had a 40-yard dash time of 4.73, had 16 bench reps. Um, his vert jump was 30.5, had a broad jump of uh, 115 inches. So... Pretty solid numbers, pretty solid, pretty solid numbers um, for him. As far as his, um, as far as where he was drafted, that is the only thing that you know kind of kind of gets to me. Maybe the Patriots, you know, thought that there was a chance that he could get snatched up pretty soon. That he probably wasn't going to make it to the fifth round or maybe to the fourth round. Um. I still I still feel like they probably could have waited for him. Um and definitely they could have got a guy who was available at that time in uh Adam Trotman. And I would have liked him paired up uh with this next guy that I'm about to go over, who is probably my favorite out of everyone who was drafted uh in this twenty twenty draft class. Um Well that's all I got for this video. Until next time, I'm out.